I have been waiting about five minutes, maybe more, to do this little video because I get very self-conscious when people walk by me or there are people around me and I'm making video clips. It seems sort of strange for somebody who does this, but, you know, on Saturday mornings when I do this, do, do this podcast with my uh, co-host Rick, I'm alone at my computer and I, I'm just going. I'm, you know, I'm free and I'm not self-conscious, but I get that way when there are people around me and there are a lot of people around me, which brings me to Rainbow Mountain. That's where we are for the weekend. It is on um, Mount Nebo Road, I believe it is, here in East Stroudsburg in the Poconos. Frank and I discovered it about, well, he knew about it a long time ago because he used to have a cabin up here with his late partner. And one time I said, we've been together seven years, seven and a half years, and one time I said, let's find a gay bed and breakfast, LGBT bed and breakfast. And he said, oh, I, I know this place, Rainbow Mountain. And he used to, they used to come here and uh, go to the club because they have a big barn that's a club at night. But he'd never stayed here. So we came here and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And we've been back twice a year since then. And I don't know what it is about certain places that relax us or that give us a sense of serenity and release and, you know, decompression. Uh, but that's what I experience here. It's, ooh, there's a bee, like a big bee. Um... That's what I experience here. I come here and for a couple of days, I'm not a writer, I'm not a publisher, I'm not an editor, I'm not an office worker, I'm not an admin assistant, I'm not a receptionist. I'm just chilling and I really, really like it. All the stress goes away. And it's a beautiful area to be in. Now, I know I'm doing this face to, face to camera thing for a long time. I gotta show you the place a little bit. And I'll do that and it's also, I'm doing it differently. I'm doing it with the camera in reverse. So hopefully when I show you around, you'll be able to see everything um, clearly, and it'll be a quick tour. But anyways, um, it started about 30 years ago. I know over 25, and it was two women, I believe two lesbians who started it back then, and it's changed hands a couple times. And <coughs> even since we started coming here, um, Rich and Ray now own it. Um, and it's on about 25 acres here in the Pocono Mountains. It's got a big lodge, which was actually the, um, the inspiration or the setting for my first murder mystery, Murder at Pride Lodge. I moved it. I renamed it and removed it, Pride Lodge, and put it in near New Hope. But um, this was where I thought of the novel. I said, this would make a great place for a murder mystery. You have a big lodge, and maybe this is when I start. You got this big lodge up here in the front. On 25 acres and you have cabins in the back maybe a half dozen cabins now our room we always stay down the road there's like this you know the Bates it looks like the Bates Motel <coughs> and at Halloween they actually put a Bates Motel sign out but it's down there and it's um six or seven deluxe they call them deluxe rooms but that means it has its own bathroom you don't share a bathroom and it has a TV and it's got a, a little refrigerator and it's away from everything. Right here is where I've been sitting. This used to be a tree, which was cut down. And you have this deck. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have... The allergies here have been really doing me in. But I don't care. And then we come around here, I'll show you the pool. And then I'll take you up on the porch where Frank is. And then in this inside... Now this is the back porch. There were this, These tables were all full this morning for breakfast. <coughs> of course, it's rainbow themed, which I happen to like. I know there are, you know, nowadays there are people who sort of poo poo and rag on rainbows, but I love rainbows as a symbol. They're peaceful. <coughs> <coughs> They're new life. They're beautiful to look at. And I hope I'm not turning you off with the cough. I just can't help it. Because I gotta talk. Let's go up on the porch real quick. And then just a little trip inside and I'll be done. But it's Rainbow Mountain. I love it here. And one of the things I love is that it's a lot of older gay people. There are younger people here too. But I love being in an environment that is almost, you know, exclusively LGBT. There are straight people. They're not exclusionary here. And wouldn't be. You see trans people here. You see all kinds of people here. And, um, but a lot of them are older, which is really nice. I really like that. Here's Frank. He's hiding his face. What's it look like? You can see the screen. I can't see the screen. Can you see you? 
Can you see yourself? <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. I'm just doing a Rainbow Mountain clip and talking about how I like the rainbow as a symbol, even though Andrew Sullivan and young gender queers hate it, but I don't care. And then I'm. Um, Here's the front door. We're just going to go in the lodge, and then I'm going to end this because it's ending up being one of the longer ones. This is the main thing. I'll take you around here. Show you that. There's a front desk. The dining room is in there. We'll be there at 7.30. And then I'm going to end right here because this is my book. I did a reading here after I read, wrote the book. There's Murder at Pride Lodge. And... Uh, I'm gonna, you know, when I see this, I'll see what it looks like. But I did a reading of my book here, and uh, it turned out really, really well. I loved it. They've got it on the shelf, and um, you know, we'll be back hopefully one more time this year. But give it a shot, give it a tryout. It's a great place to spend a long weekend.